G'day tubers, so I had one of them, you know, little itty bitty brain waves that you have sometimes. And, um, well, what I came up with was these gel cells, because they've got cracks in them, the gel may have, you know, like evaporated a bit and um, turned more, like, dried up a bit. So, uh, last night I came up with the idea that I'll get some warm water, it was about 42 degrees, 44 degrees, something like that straight out of the instant gas hot water and um, what I did was I actually topped these up so now they look more like a like a wet cell now I noticed that the gel, there's balls of gel sitting up on top I don't know if that's super normal so these two here still had 250 amp hours so I drained 250 out of these two as a brick of 8 volts or whatever it is this one only had 165, but as you can see, these have only got minor cracks in the sides. This one's got a bit bigger on both of the positives on this cell over here. So I charged them overnight and uh, turned the charger off a bit ago. We just plugged the um, antimatter 20 amp in. And um, we actually charged them off this big power safe 100 really like 140 and that full river down there they're connected together connected to this solar system which is only putting in 1.3 amps today Ooh, we're down to 11.8 volts really low so we'll do our discharge test on these which will regen into those two and boost them back up for the night so that lights and bits and pieces will still work in the shed and it's not harmful to that nice big battery and uh, we'll see what kind of numbers we get you're going to get 10 amps at, a hun at 12 volts, about 120 watts of regen discharge. So it's just like throwing a good solar cell up on the roof, especially for this bank over here. So there's always a little bit of sag in the leads, um, which I've measured to about half a volt at 12 volts with uh, these leads. These ones come off... Um, Banggood, I believe. Banggood or eBay, one of the two. They probably both got them. So that will keep going until 10.5 volts. And we're already nearly up to 100 milliamp hours. This automatically puts out a maximum of 14 volts. I've stopped it at 14 so that it doesn't overcharge whatever you push the voltage back into. But, so we've got our test values but we're obviously going to be governed because they're in series by the weakest link so the weakest link's best effort after a few goes previously was 165 but like I say I believe from evaporation um, yeah hopefully we can rejuvenate these cells a little bit if it has a better test volume we we'll use some polyurethane or something and we'll seal up all the cracks in these cells see if we can't get some more years out of them because they shouldn't have many cycles on them they should be um, fairly unused. Uh, where's the side of them? I can show you. They're easy one to read. This one. In a gel. So yeah, that's the cells. Let that do its thing. And um, over a quarter of an amp hour already. See how many amp hours we get out of them this time. It's uh, a little bit cooler at the moment too, so it'll be interesting to see if that plays a factor, but the liquid that I put in is not warm. It's just, um, it, it cooled off overnight, like, yeah, I put it in there last night. So hopefully it's all absorbed into the gel. That's why I went warm, because I thought it will kind of absorb it a little bit. But there's a litre in each one of these two volt cells been added, so, um, Let's see what happens. Alright then guys. So the uh, first test is concluded at some stage overnight. Um, since we've topped all these cells up. And we've still got 164 amp hours. 164. And there's the other three digits. So... Um, Yeah, we didn't gain much. We only got 165 out of this the first time. 
so what we'll do is we'll give it another recharge cycle and um, I'm not going to use the um, antimatter to charge them back up I'm just going to connect them up in parallel with the solar let them charge and uh, see what they come up to so I've got another two of these over the other side of the shed that we can do a discharge test on now but uh, I'll make an update once we uh, get another cycle on them so yeah that's first test we didn't gain anything doesn't mean we won't because uh, once that gel's all moved and shifted between all the plates again like, I'm, I'm imagining that they've evaporated a lot of their um, a lot of the conductive jelly in there, so not a not a failure yet. I'll try again, see if we've uh, achieved anything. In the meantime, it's uh, just eight o'clock in the morning, and uh, this battery and the one down the bottom have got 13.2 volts in them. So uh, there's lights and things running off them as well. So even with no solar overnight, the uh, this has kept them charged. But uh, 164 amps is only probably what you'd need to charge those two up anyhow but all right we will charge these back up retest again and uh i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching um if you've got any ideas on these kind of cells if they're gel cells and they're just dead and just call it a day or whatever drop them in the comments thanks for watching catch you in the next video